welcome back to the Chan Chan. In today's video, you are not going to believe today's video. Today's video is probably one of my favorite videos ever because um, it's a haul video, but it's probably the biggest and most quality, yeah, this is quality, quality haul I've ever gotten. This is things from the thrift store, things from eBay, things from used sites uh, locally around my city. Um, just some trade items here and there, but it's just such good stuff. I didn't think I was gonna film this video today. I am kind of tired. I've been doing a video with Odie and Dante on their Golden Brothers channel. Uh, I bought them some agility equipment, like, you know, those jumping obstacles, a tunnel, those weaving poles and everything. So it was really fun uh, doing that with them. So I'll probably post that video um, tomorrow on their channel. So today, let me try to squeeze in this haul video because it just couldn't wait anymore. The foist thing, let me show you, is this Buzz Lightyear phone. This is so cool. It also came with a little phone cord as well. On the back of him is the rocket that Sid strapped to him in the first movie. It's the big one rocket. Remember Sid's like, the big one. So it's right here. And I think that this is one of the only um, actual size Buzz Lightyears with this big one rocket rocket. His wings go in and out. I think his button is supposed to make his wings go in and out, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I've never seen this before, okay? These aren't real. Neither is the laser. You can do his helmet up and down if you like. Arms also move. I believe this came out in the 90s because Toy Story 1 came out in 1995, so I'm sure this was kind of around that time. Um, and, and let's be honest, it looks pretty 90s as well, especially with that color of the kind of green and the purple. Got this on a used site. I think I paid like $40, if I'm not mistaken, for this guy Canadian. Next, I was RVing a bit and um, I found some little thrift stores to stop into and this was one of the stops. And um, I think I got this entire haul for like $6 or something. It's basically just a bunch of books. Ow, my finger! They're basically all books. Well, not basically, they are all books. Dune, The Machine Crusade. This is Hunters of Dune. This is Dune House Atreides. And then uh, Dune, The Butlerian Jihad. And it has a really cool picture of a worm on there. Grab two of these larger books. Um, this is the Tyrannosaurus Rex Jurassic Park book. This is one in, I believe, eight, if I'm not mistaken. There's like Tyrannosaurus Rex, um, Gallimimus, Velociraptor, a little spread of like pictures and information and tidbits. And then even at the back, there's some like activities and stuff. Um, there's like delicious dino. So you can make this little dino drink with this banana. Um, coming out of the chocolate milk. Batman Returns movie storybook. We have some really nice pictures in here from the movie and oh, one of my favorite scenes ever when she turns into Catwoman. And then I grabbed a whole bunch of these dinosaurs books. Do you guys remember these? These were filled with just like information and um, fun little tidbits. There's like fossils, there's dinosaur stories, there's even like little comics in here. Uh, there's some 3D things in here as well. And if you guys remember from a previous PO Box opening, a subscriber actually gifted this to me and this is the 3d glasses that actually go with this book so you can kind of see these see these dinos in 3d so that was super awesome uh, how that guy came into handy really nice art in here very nice covers so really fun things to kind of read through you know or have on a coffee table or something next up hold on hold on to something folks i got this amazing amazing willow haul i can't believe how much Willow stuff I got. So if you guys remember, Willow was a fantasy movie in 1998 starring Val Kilmer and Warwick Davis. It's a really, really fun uh, family movie for sure. And um, Tonka came out with these small, tiny little figures and they're all these little metal bases. The figures had no articulation. They didn't really do anything. And in my opinion, they almost look like, you know, pieces, like game pieces to a game that wasn't created or anything. It was kind of like Dungeons and Dragons figures. And I'm sure the creators behind this line thought that kids would be using these in their Dungeons and Dragons play and maybe making like some Willow inspired stories or something. So there was three Willow box sets. Each of them had three characters inside of them. And then along with that, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten package figures on card back all together. And all these are in really good condition. The only thing that sucks is that the tops of these um, have come unglued. So if you can see here, here's the glue spatter, but that glue has just dried out. Um, and so it, it can't even hold anymore. There's like no adhesion. So this is the heroic collector set number one. We have Mad Mardigan, Sorsha, and Willow in there. And the thing that I really like about these box sets is that they show those elusive, elusive Willow sets here that were a Sears exclusive, only sold in, in I was gonna say only sold in Willow stores, only sold in Sears stores. There was the Nakmar Manganel, the Castle Catapult, and the Chase Chariot. The 
this is heroic collector set number two with mad mardigan um eric thaubeyer and a rebel trooper and this one is evil collector set number one with um a knockmire warrior a death dog and general kale i actually do have the two versions of willow on card back there on my shelf so i think i'm missing maybe three maybe three or four uh cards altogether so there is the troll there is a rebel trooper there's eric thaubeyer on horse then just a normal eric thaubeyer a knockmar lieutenant general kale queen bav morda the high aldwin sorsha on horse and a knockmar warrior on horse so i got all of these on ebay i got the box sets in one purchase and in another purchase i got all these individual figures um i think i paid like 70 or something 70 us for the boxed ones uh, all together for all three. And I think for all these figures, I paid like 120 something, if I'm not mistaken. You guys know that Willow has a series coming out um, on Disney Plus. So kind of anticipate that this line is gonna get harder and harder to come by. You know, you see these figures, you know, um, popping up all the time. They're a pretty good price right now. Another fantasy franchise that is very dear to my heart is the Never Ending Story franchise. The Never Ending Story. How can you not love that song? It's such a good song. La Historia Sin Fin, which translates to the Never Ending ending the story in English. Um, and the reason that this is in Spanish is because this line was actually exclusive to Mexico. That's the Spaniel, the Spanish. This is a very, very hard line to collect. Not only are these figures very rare, it's also hard to find them packaged, but also for the love of God, these these figures are so bad. They look so bad. It looks like they were put together in like a kindergarten class or something. No offense to kindergartners. You guys can make some really cool stuff, but this is not really like, you know, uh, like, uh, it's not really up to par, these figures. So unfortunately, these look like bootleg toys. They're not painted very well. Their sculpts are not really the greatest. Uh, no, they're not the greatest. They're very bad. They are very bad sculpts with very bad paint jobs. Um, so unfortunately, the thing that really sucks is the, these figures are bootlegged out the yin yang. You want to collect this line? You're going to have to sift through so many bootlegs. People claiming, oh, this is the real one. Oh, this is the real one. So unfortunately, the only way to really collect these and know that you have the original line is to get these packaged. I actually bought these at the same time. It was like a package deal. Um, so on the back here, um, you can get Rock Biter, Bastion, the Childlike Empress, Teeny Weeny there, a Night Hob with his bat, um, Atreyu, Mork, the Necklace Orin, um, Falcor, and Professor Engiwook. And the bat is probably one of the hardest figures to get in the whole line. It's very, very hard to get that bat, let alone a packaged bat. So like, whoo, score here for two bats. <laughs> that's a that's a bat for happy. And then I also picked up this Atreyu. I'm pretty positive this Atreyu is a bootleg. I made a mistake buying it. It was just a really, really good deal. And I was like, whoa, I never see these things, you know, less than $100. And like, this was an incredibly good deal, uh, which leads me to believe it probably is a bootleg. It's also very sticky and kind of falling apart. The paint job is exceptionally bad on this. Um, paint job is bad on all these kind of figures, but this one's exceptionally bad. But um, I think it'll be just be cool to put him in my collection as well. I'll probably put get like a clear case and put him in there because I don't want any hands touching this guy because he is falling apart. Swipe transition. Ow, that actually really hurt my neck. So next up is a new collection that I've started and that is packaged cereal boxes, baby, with the cereal still inside. So I grabbed a two of my favorite cereal boxes ever. Um, obviously this one's amazing. It's like this metallic Lost World Jurassic Park Dino, Jurassic Park Crunch cereal. And it's got these marshmallow dinosaur shapes inside. It's got Triceratops, Velociraptor, uh, dinosaur hatching egg, and a chameleon T-Rex. And it says here, if you hear this box roar, you could win a Lost World adventure. Ow! I almost dropped it. And uh, it's got DNA all around. It's got some bones and fossils and it's got a few dinosaurs there on the back. You're probably like, whoa, Laura, random, random Prince of Thieves cereal. So a while ago, I did a video on incredibly weird foods um, from like the 80s and 90s. And this was on there. I will leave a link in my description below to that video because it's a very interesting and fun video. And this guy was on there. And can you guess why? I'll give you a second. Something's wrong with this box. Something doesn't look right, and it's a little concerning. Ding, ding, ding! Do you give up? Yeah? 
It's the shape of the cereal. These little cereal pieces were supposed to be arrows and they ended up turning out like, like wangs, like ding dongs. Uh, so it's got like the head and you got like the balls on the bottom. And then what's even worse, what's even worse is it's got like all these little specks of kind of like green sugar all over them. So it looks like they have like fungus growing on them or like gangrene or something. I don't know, but it's a really, really fun cereal. So next up are a bunch of items that I got in a trade that I did a trade deal with somebody. So I got this vintage 1986 LJN Snarf toy from the Thundercats, which is in such nice condition. I love um, the color scheme of Snarf on the back. Very, very nice condition Snarf. And you can definitely tell that by his nose. His nose isn't rubbed off or anything and he doesn't have a bunch of stains on him. Really, a really cool piece. So I'm really excited to add that to the Thundercats collection. Also, look who it is. It's Turbo Time. You can always count on me. It's my favorite Christmas movie. It's Turbo Man from Jingle All the Way. This is from 1990 the toy from the 1996 movie Jingle All the Way. And this is Turbo Man, the toy that um, they made in the movie there. Kind of like how Home Alone made the Talk Boy and then they sold the Talk Boy. Well, they had Turbo Man in there and then they sold Turbo Man. So this is from Tiger Electronics. And um, this guy has some sound features as well. It's turbo time. Kind of sucks because he doesn't have his jet pack. Um, he's obviously, you know, not in a box or anything, but I couldn't resist, you know, adding this guy into the trade deal. So nice to finally add Turbo Man to the collection. And hand shark. I finally got a street shark hand puppet. I'm so excited to add this guy to the collection. You guys know I freaking love hand puppets. So this guy is from 1994 by Streetwise Designs. And you guys remember Street Sharks was actually an animated series. It was like a response in the 90s to the Ninja Turtle craze of, you know, the, uh, an anthropomorphic team of animals, superhero kind of guys. And of course there was also a toy line and this guy actually had two names because he had a name change. So um, there's Blades and Streaks. There's other hand puppets, of course, in this line. There's uh, Big Slamu, there's Jab, and of course Ripster. And there's also a Slobster puppet as well, like a villain. I think that's all the hand puppets, if I'm not mistaken, that's all the ones I've ever seen. And these guys are also pretty interesting because Vin Diesel actually did like some marketing, like some uh, street shark campaign for these guys. There was this classic clip of him going like hand shark and he like screams it and it's really funny so really excited to add that guy i've got something here with such fantastic detail it's gonna blow you away hand shark also grabbed this Star Wars Darth Vader figure carrying case as well. And on the inside, it's got little spots for all your little, all your little bits and bobs and all your little guys and stuff. Grabbed these Ghostbusters 1984 Panini cards, these little sticker cards. And then I got this packaged card back Dino Riders figure. This is from 1987 uh, from Tyco. And um, I really like the art on these cards for sure. I actually don't have any packaged Dino Rider stuff. I just have some loose things here and there, um, but I really like the art on here for sure. So finally have a little display piece. And then to go along with this guy, I got two Dino Riders comics. I got the premiere issue. So issue number one by Marvel of Dino Riders. And as well, I got this one as well on the back there. And then the last thing that I got in this little trade deal here is this comic. It's by Dark Horse from 1989. And it, I believe that this is the first appearance of Alien and Predator together, like them fighting. Um, so really cool comic to add to the Alien and Predator collection for sure. Those are all the items that I got from that trade. I think there were some really cool quality pieces in here for sure. So very pleased very pleased with that trade. Oh uh, shoot, I should have added this with my other never ending story stuff. Um, but this is such a cool item. This is the never ending story soap on a rope. And it looks like a little storybook. It actually looks like the never ending story book, which is awesome. And this is really fun gold writing all around here. And there's like pages that it looks like. On the back is this really nice big picture of the Orin right there. And on the side, we have one of the oracles there. And um, let us read about the never ending story. The never ending story smells like a lot like lemon. Um, lemongrass scented. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, and in the back is a little picture of Falcor. That is so cute. I think I got this for like $12, if I'm not mistaken, on eBay, if I'm not mistaken. Next up, the Jurassic items. So I just grabbed these two from my local Walmart. Um, grabbed the Cenoceratops and the Sarcosuchus. These are both from Camp Cretaceous, Jurassic World. So it's the Netflix show Camp Cretaceous that is, you know, based on Jurassic World and such. Um, and I grabbed this guy because I loved the sculpt on him. I love his head sculpt. It's like probably one of my favorite sculpted toys from this whole Jurassic World line. I think it's very realistic looking and I love the paint job on him, like this subtle gray blue color. It's really cool. So I had to pick that guy up. And then I grabbed this guy cause I thought he was very unique amongst all the other dinosaurs and stuff. This like crocodilian like Sarcosuchus. And I really like his movement and his head motion and um, kind of reminds me of the Spinosaurus a little bit with that kind of green eye. Um, so I just had to get this guy as well. I couldn't resist. And then also from Walmart, I saw these for the first time ever, these captives, Jurassic World captives. 
um, original edition and you get like a little dinosaur inside. Oh, with slime, I didn't know that. And I think there's also the chance to get a gold velociraptor. That's like the most coveted thing of this line. And then I finally, whoa! So I grabbed this guy for my bull T-Rex because it goes with the bull T-Rex. The bull T-Rex, did I say bull T-Rex enough in that sentence? So the bull T-Rex has like a hollowed out um, throat and stomach area and he has a little slit in his belly so you can actually put objects inside and take them out. So this guy was actually meant to be like swallowed by the bull T-Rex. So it's this little scared guy in here and he's like, Arr! And then I grabbed these two freaking amazing items off of eBay. This is a Jurassic Park giant bank, like a coin bank. And this is a Jurassic Park original walkie talkie. I love these things. I've had my eye on these things for the longest time waiting for a good price to come up. I got this walkie talkie for $4.99 US plus shipping. And I got this guy for $39 plus shipping. So many times this little um, kind of sticker um, paper coating here gets ripped, it's scratched. It's like uh, maybe had some wetness on it and it kind of bubbled a bit, but this is in such good condition. Like it's one of the nicest conditioned banks that I've seen. Um, so this is just incredible. And it has such a nice picture here of the T-Rex from the original artwork from Crash McCreary. Really, really nice. Um, so this, I think I measured out, it was 21 inches. Um, this is from 1992 at Universal City Studios. On the top is a little slit here for your coins. And on the bottom is this little um, stopper here that's like kind of indented. It's like an indented stopper. The thing that really sucks about this is that when you put it on the ground, it's not really flat because of that stupid stopper. I don't know why it's not like perfectly flat. This is from Noteworthy. The company Noteworthy did this bank. If you've ever been interested in this bank on eBay, you know that $39 is a steal for this guy because usually this guy's listed for like $250, $300 and stuff. So it's just a matter of waiting around for that good listing that's nice and low. So this is the 1992 Jurassic Park walkie talkie. This obviously did come with, you know, another walkie talkie because you need two. Um, and these guys go for crazy, crazy prices. There's one currently listed on eBay of two of these in the box for like over a thousand dollars. So just getting this for $4.99 for $4 was a steal. And I'm okay with just having one because it's a really cool display piece. On the side is a transmit button, a low to high volume button, and probably the on and off switch as well. And also we have Morse code right here as well. We have a Morse code um, little key here. Cool. Okay, so I'm guessing this is the Morse code button. So here, tell me, tell me what I'm doing. What did I do? And last but certainly not least, you won't believe what I got. Boglin! So I do have this Boglin in my collection. Um, the eye feature in it is broken. The, all the little tabs in there are broken. Um, let alone the eyes are not like the real eyes. These are like marble placement holders. So because I don't come by these guys very often at all, I don't know really anything about this line. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend to be a Boglin expert, um, but I can tell you that this is by Mattel. This one's from 1987. So they're like a late 80s toy. And also there's a brand new line of Boglins that was actually just released. It was like a Kickstarter and there's this new kind of Boglin line. I got him for $70 Canadian on a used site here in my city and um, it was advertised as like a Canadian exclusive or something. So I don't know anything. This guy's name is Squint. In this fun little cage here, get the little hand out of here. This is so cool. I don't know how fun is that. Oh, I guess this is Canadian because there's also like French there's also French phrases around here too. There are things that go bump in the night, noises just out of sight. You've heard them, perhaps even felt them, but you've never quite seen them until now. They've been captured, come face to face with the Boglins. Such a cool, such a cool toy line. Very, very cool. Wow, this guy's in a really nice condition too. I know these guys like are very prone to degrading and just kind of getting gross over time from the material that they use, but very cool. And look, they've got some nice eyes. You can actually see it has the real eyes apart from these like marble eyes that this guy has. Oh, there we go. It's just this little tab here that you uh, push up and down and the eyes move side to side. I always thought that these looked like oversized jumbo goblin sperm. They're just like Bleh. So here is that tiny little tag that it came with too. It even has its little plastic bit. Squit characteristics, very slow, bumps into things all the time, screams so loud it sneezes. 
<laughs> what? How does that happen? Uh, loves to eat old shoes. Sounds like Odie and Dante. No, not Dante. Dante's such a good boy. Odie loves to eat shoes. Um, hangs out in dark closets, scares people with weird faces. So if anyone can offer any particular insight into Squit, is he in fact a Canadian exclusive? Is he rare? Is he very common? Let me know because I'm really unfamiliar with this Boglins line. But regardless, welcome to the family, Squit. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Maybe you've seen something you never saw before. Maybe you want something now. Maybe you learned something. Uh, and also in the comments down below, please let me know what your favorite item was. I know I am hard pressed to pick a favorite here because there's just so many cool and unique things that I absolutely love from some of my favorite franchises. Um, so yeah, I, I actually can't really pick a favorite right now. I'd have to think about it. But if something stood out to you, let me know in the comments down below. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come out with new videos every week. Come check me out on social media and help support the channel on Patreon. So thank you all so much for watching and stay legendary. Pew, pew.